Well, his 13-fight winning streak is no more, but Max Holloway still makes this walk here tonight as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world when it comes to pace, pressure, preparation, cardio. Few guys are going to be able to match what this Hawaiian brings to the table. And he can do it all. He's got great ability to get back up once he's taken down. He has takedown ability, but it's the range and the distance management that makes Max Holloway such a problem for everyone at 145 pounds. He doesn't seem as though he's throwing 100% effort with every strike. He's just touching you. Right. But the accumulation of damage that Max Holloway will put on you will make guys just fold in front of him, as we saw with Ortega and in both Jose Aldo fights. He's a big featherweight. We have seen him compete at 155 pounds. He has said he wants to move up to welterweight <laughs> before his UFC and career is he said and done. He wants to beat me. Yeah, he wants a shot at the heavyweight <laughs> champ. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Well, the stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor. As such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. McGregor is 26, Holloway is 28. He is two inches taller. McGregor will have a five inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer. Holding a professional record of 24 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Wyandotte, Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 2 losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one, tries to exact some revenge. I mean, it was a big fight when they fought as kids. Now they are grown men fighting right now for the right to maybe earn a UFC championship or to just add to what both have are very stellar legacies. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, nice punch there by McGregor. Well, you see why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do with it. Certainly found the target. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick lands.
Nice punch here. Nice hook. There it is. See that left hook again. He keeps getting hit with those left hooks. Trying to find a home for that right hand. He blocks the punch. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Holloway circling to his right now. Strong defense there to block the shot. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Less than a minute to go now in our opening round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Holloway gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Effective use of the jab there by Holloway. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Ten seconds to go in the round. And he landed the right hand there. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and a very his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Holloway gets caught with that. Whoa! Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. So 41 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. While the accuracy rate not great, below 40%, now 38% on the connections against Max Holloway. Big. Oh! oh. 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 Land right there, his opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. He's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Just missed with the left there. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Holloway's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Holloway gets caught by that straight hand. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food. 
give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken. Oh! Big right hands there by Max Lightning. Like scrap so far. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. That's a big strike right there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Unable to land with that punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Conor McGregor gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, nice kick. Oh, he landed it. Accuracy oh! there tonight against. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Big, Big knee, knee lands there. Oh, oh he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, this, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And he can. Oh! Another knockdown! Good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw him. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee heard Gage while we stopped in this contest at 3 minutes, 44 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the no.